Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to play the game Colin McRae 2. Uh, we'll be able to get this running in full screen uh, and the best frame rate possible with a, uh, it's called a silent patch. And then we're going to combine that with a DG Voodoo 2. Uh, so go ahead, if you want to go ahead and give this a try, go ahead and open up your browser. I went ahead and put two uh, links on there. So we're going to go to this page here. We're going to download the silent patch right here then uh, you may or may not already be familiar with the g2 voodoo if you've seen the videos in the past but if you don't have it go ahead of the second link here and we're going to download the latest version which is uh 2.82.5 so go ahead and download those once you're done with those two files uh, go ahead and close your uh, browser then we're going to go ahead and navigate here to the uh, folders that we're going to need so just go to the folders that contain the files you downloaded and then also open up the folder that has the game already installed. Now on the right side, you're going to see I have the folder open. The files are already here, but you know, this is what you're going to do in your case. So just go to the folder that has the DG Voodoo in there extracted. You're going to control A, select all the files and either drag, you know, drop them to the folder that has the game or paste them in there. But once that's in there, you're going to go into the MS folder. You're going to go into the x86 folder and we are going to copy these files here and put that inside the folder so you're going to basically see this inside there when you're done then we're going to go to the folder that has the uh, patch in there we're going to go ahead and copy those and also paste them into this spot right here and once you've done that you should be ready to launch the game now what i'm going to do here really quick here is just show you the settings that i have on here so you can open up the ini file for the uh, silent patch by just clicking on it these are the settings that i have that have worked for me you know if they don't work for you you can feel free to go in here and kind of change some of them uh so here you know you see the region uh is set to europe you can go ahead and change the uh, field of view right here. The default is 70. It does warn you if you go a little bit higher, it may, uh, you know, it may glitch the game out a little bit when you're in the camera mode. I personally have my sets to 80 and haven't had an issue. But again, you know, you can go ahead and play with these at your leisure. Uh, one thing I recommend is that you do leave the window setting to one and also pick one over here for borderless. And that'll give you the full screen with the optimal frame rate on here. If you're running this with Windows 8, I, you may wanna go ahead and right click your executable file and uh, give that a shot. If it doesn't work, then you can go in there, you know, and change the compatibility modes to different versions. But I myself have not had an issue. I'm running this on Windows 10, but in case it doesn't run optimally, you know, once you've done this, you can always right click on there and play around with the compatibility mode. So once we've done the settings to that, you can go ahead and close that file. This is kind of cool because you know you don't have to install you know anything just drag and drop them on there and uh you know you can go ahead and make changes to the uh silent patch through there now for dg voodoo what we're going to do is go ahead and double click on that uh, i'll show you the settings that i have on here that worked for me again this is up to you you can change your uh you know corresponding to what you like uh, so i kept the ratio on on there i have the mouse capture and here you can go ahead and hit the directs tab and you'll be able to change uh, several uh, items on here now for me this ran uh, better with the geforce 4 uh, option here in the uh, video card section for some reason the other ones worked but they would create transparency in the car and they would almost make it look like a ghost car uh you know you can actually see through the car so if you get that effect when you pick your cards go ahead and pick this on here and uh, you can go ahead and change the premium and here. I have it at 256. Uh, the anti-lacing, you can go ahead and change here. You know, if your card's capable of running, you, you can go ahead and change that here. Uh, I left that uh, checked. And as you can see, the other settings are as is. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK on that. And we should be able to launch this and be able to go full screen. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this here. I'm going to go ahead and run one of the arcade races. I'm going to show you a couple of settings here too that you might want to play around with if you're using a joystick. I can't demonstrate the wheel because I don't have a wheel, so I'm not going to show you how to set that up. But in case you're running a joystick, go in here into the options. And uh, depending on the type of joystick you want to use, digital or analog, just go in here to the options spot. 
of your graphics are right here so you can go ahead and match that to what you had on your uh you know the dg voodoo so here are several options here that you can change now for the graphics we can go in here uh what worked best was the standard for me up here shadow map i left on and you want to make sure that this is set to dg voodoo if you're using that your mode here, you kind of want to match this to what you put in the uh, the DG Voodoo. Drag it in here, here, that'll give you the you know best graphics. The draw distance, I got it set to max. Detail, you can go in here and do the same thing, set everything to max. Okay, now for the uh, controller, go back up here and go into controllers, and you know, you have the option to set it for two players, a single player, you know down up there and then the other one down here so we'll go in there now that's the uh, joystick i'm using so i recommend you do analog for the steering as it gives you more control versus the digital also uh, analog for your uh, accelerate and brake and uh, for some reason the force feedback is off on here but uh these other settings you shouldn't have to play with steer dampering i have set to yes so once you then you go in there and then you can actually go inside here and do your uh, you know change the settings for here for higher if you want so once you've done those you can go ahead and uh, you know change whatever you want on here now for me for some reason i kind of had to play around with this setting here because it didn't take right away so let me go in here and see uh, try to do it with the keyboard instead of the joystick for the first go around so oh, just hit your cursor keys go to OK and now when you hit the enter on your uh, keyboard you should be able to change the settings okay because if you try for me when I try to do it with the joystick it maneuvers me inside here but I can't change it so to get into this menu here make sure you do it via the keyboard if you're having issues then this you can pretty much leave it at standard this you can tweak you know to your preferences if you don't feel that you know doesn't feel right for you with the defaults so let's go in there we're gonna go ahead and start a quick arcade race and run through this here real quick all right there So as you can see, the white screen looks fine.
there we go so as you can see that runs fine in widescreen so we'll go ahead and call that a done deal so if you make use of the video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please do so and we will catch you guys on the next video have a good one